My name is Rene Bermudez. I graduated with a degree in civil engineering in May of 2008. Currently, I work for Meadow Valley Contractors as a project engineer. Hi, my name is Sean Nugent, and I graduated ASU this past May in 2009. Graduated with a Bachelor's of Science in Engineering in Civil Engineering specifically. Currently, I work at AMAC, which is a infrastructure company. Um, AutoCAD is big in civil engineering. We took a class in that, and I, up to this day, it's been helpful in other classes in work. So that's the strong thing I remember from other classes. Calculus will help you just in getting through things like physics and some of chemistry and some of the rest of the classes. And what it forces you to do is do everything by hand. Be, and just throw your calculator away, just don't use it. And I found that learning how to do that and documenting your work what is, gets me what every, everywhere. Because one thing I've learned now from those classes that I use every day is that if you can't defend what you do, then they're going to just stare at you like you have no idea what you're talking about. So anything that you ever design, you have to have a reason for. And you have to have documentation. And you learn how to go through that process. You get that really repetitious way of writing everything out and cataloging it from the early math and science classes. Specifically, the classes that I took were classes like pavement analysis and design, highway materials, uh, construction materials. So when you combine all those, it, it's, they're all applied to the construction industry. And when I was taking those classes, I did not know I was going to be working in the, in the highway industry. So now that I am, I look back and I think those classes, or the combination of such classes, are, were the best combination. The most beneficial classes, I would say there's a couple. One was surveying for civil engineering. It's not a required class, but it was, it's extremely important for what I do, and it's kind of the basis of how everything gets first laid out and then constructed. That is probably one of the best technical classes you can take. And I also took this class outside of civil engineering, which was a business class, and it was engineering business management. And that class, that blew my mind, and it set me up for leadership skills that I really didn't know existed out there. I would say the best two pieces of advice I can, I can give you is get involved in some sort of extracurricular activity and always work in groups. You do everything in the, in the engineering real world in a group. You, are, you don't work on anything alone and often you work on such a small part that it, it feels like you're almost not doing something, but there's 30 people that have to do all these little parts to bring it together. So when you work on a group, in a group, in school, it makes it a lot easier to understand because you can bounce back questions with, with your peers and you get through stuff a lot quicker with a lot less frustration. And it also gets you geared up towards working in the real world because you're not going to work alone. And if you're the type of person who wants to work alone, it's going to be really difficult on you. So I would definitely just get over that barrier and just get her out and be as social in your study habits as you possibly can. Getting involved helped me meet people and talk to them. And now that I'm in their place, you know, that I'm working and I get to talk to students, they just open up your mind. They tell you what's out there. They tell you what to expect when you get out of school. And every social event that I was out, with an ASCE related event. Just meeting people, they, they're all very helpful, very friendly, and they're your colleagues. Definitely people skills. Once you get out to work, you will realize that not everybody's an engineer, which are the people that you've lived with for the last four to five years. Um, not everybody had a degree, so you have to learn who is who when you get out to work and develop those people skills. And again, networking will, will help you with that.